And now that DX plastic is actually ruined. Oh. I think we need a birdie out. This is a new series that we got called Wheeling the Fairways. So what we're gonna be doing is right here, we got this bag and we're gonna be filling it up with different types of discs. All right, so we're gonna have our top three or top four right here that these are gonna have to stay inside the bag. And I picked these out cause they're all baseline plastics. So we're gonna have to build a bag just using these four discs and I'll explain it longer whenever the series does go a little bit further but we're gonna be starting off with the dx wraith a retro river a retro compass and then a v1 penny putter and the goal of this is just these are gonna be our workhorses and we're gonna slowly go from a really easy course to a really tough course and then hopefully by the time we build out this whole bag we could probably go and play a full 18, I'm not too sure if I want to do it in town. I'll probably start off in town and then if this series does start growing, then we'll play other courses outside of, outside of Lubbock. But for now, that's what we're gonna do. Now, this, or still deciding on whether or not if I should do nine holes or 18 holes. I feel like I'll do nine holes and then we'll slowly start going from front nine to back nine at the same course. And then we'll at the very end start doing or once it gets finally close to whenever they this bag is fully built we'll go to four, full courses also we got a wheel right here and this is basically going to decide what we get for our bag don't know how many discs this bag could fit but i'll know close toward the end how many we are going to need but yeah so we're going to each episode we're going to start off yeah we're going to be adding two discs to our bag before each episode before we go play and the way we're going to decide what disc we choose to go into our bag is going to be through a wheel so this is the wheel that we got right here we got a whole bunch of different things and i do plan on uploading this soon but i mean if we land on anything where i have to order discs then of course this video will go out whenever i do end up getting those discs we're going to spin for two discs that we got that we can add to our bag and the only way we can actually add those discs to our bag for, to further on fill out that bag is if we shoot our goal for that course. So I think our first video is going to be at McCullough Park. And we're going to do the front nine, which is all short pads. And our goal will be, we'll have a set par that we need to shoot or a set score that we need to shoot. So I think for McCullough, it will probably be like, I'll say through six so three down we'll just do it in half we'll just cut it in half but yeah so i guess we'll go ahead and just get this series started I, there'll be more rules further on we go and also if you want to add stuff to the wheel just go ahead and leave it down in the comment section below but let's see what we're going to get for our first choice hopefully it's something good though because if, if it ain't let's see so Looks like any premium. We'll go ahead, jump to the closet, and let's see if we can pull anything. For our first disc, any premium, going with the zone. This is a brand new zone. Haven't thrown it, probably thrown like two times, but yeah, this is the disc that we're going to choose. So let's go ahead and close this, and let's see if we could get something else. Hopefully, it's something here in my room, too, because if not, then. Alright. Neutral mid slash putter. Don't know if I have that in my, my room. We're gonna find out. Right now, I am in between the Orbit Ice Emac Truth or Claymore. And I do like the Claymore, but I think it's gonna be a little bit more flippy. I don't think that this will be pretty good. So, what we're gonna do is go with the Emac Truth and it says stable mid range. So, so yeah, right there, stable mid-range. So yeah, that's gonna be our second choice. So, like I said, we're gonna go out to McCola Park, play the front nine, and our goal is three under. Our first disc we're gonna be actually playing with. So we got what? 
six discs that we're gonna be going out there trying to shoot three under with zone a penny putter our two mid ranges the compass and the emac truth don't know if those are kind of overlapping each other but it's all right then we got a river and our star rate for the long bomber shots and also the only ways that we could upgrade our main four that we have is what we'll have a challenge which i don't know the challenges i'll just make one up let's just say we gotta hit a basket off the tee with one of our discs and we'll be able to upgrade it from a baseline to the next best we can't go to straight to the top of the best, you know, plus that they have. We got to go to the next level what they have. So I know with Innova, they got their G-Star, then they got XT, and or I think it's XT, then their G-Star, Star, and they got Halo, I believe. So that'll be the kind of the four rankings that we could get. And also, if we get an ace with any of those discs that we have our main four, if we get an ace with any of them, that takes us automatically up to the best disc that they have. So the best uh, plastic, I guess you would say. But yeah, so we're going to go ahead and take this out to McCullough and see if we could shoot three over. Or three under, sorry, three under. And we are here at McCullough Park. Got the bag with our disc. So we're going to go ahead and see if we could shoot our three under. I got to go quick because people are up here headed to the whole one. We're gonna go with our compass at first, hole one. Part three, 26 five feet. Just straight up there. All right, I think it's a little bit stable, but hopefully we can make a putt. Okay, first part of the day, let's see if we can make one with the penny. Ah, uh, just a little bit to the left. Taking a three off the first, not too bad. Good warm up. Alrighty, hole two, part three, 260 feet. Don't really got a throwing putter because I really don't want to throw my penny off the tee, but go with the Emac Truth and just see if we just pump it right down there to the basket. Kind of center, eh? Ah. <laughs> Trying to correct my mistake, and I ended up shooting it a little bit too far left or too far right. I knew our miss was left, so I aimed it too much right. But. Another part doesn't kill us, so we'll go ahead and take that into hole three. All right, our only long one today, hole three, part three, 390 feet. I think we're gonna just take this wraith, blast it as a big old hydro on the right side. See if we just spike it down next to the basket. I'm gonna throw this like a regular wraith too. I've been throwing all those other baseline plastics like it was, what is it called? Like it was baseline. I need to treat these discs with respect. Now that DX plastic is actually ruined because I threw in the street. Okay, so my disc is way out there, but I believe we came out just a little bit shorter because I mean, I think it was in the air for a long time. I wasn't expecting it to flip all the way up to flat and then get some turn out of it, but it did. And I think right now, the best thing that we need to do is probably hit some metal so that way we could complete our challenge and we could probably upgrade that rate to maybe a DX plastic. But I don't know if that'd be more flippy or if it'd be like about the same. But either way, we need to get that one closer to a premium plastic so we could get some hazard bombs out of it. Alrighty, let's go ahead, tap that out for our four, and we gotta make up some big ground with some birdies.
Okay, so one over to the first three. Got six more holes to get back to three under. I think it's doable, just we need to lock in a little bit. Waiting for this family to get off the tee pad or to get off the hole. We got hole four, part three, 324 feet. And what we're gonna do is go with our compass. And this had a little bit of fade at the end, but I'm pretty sure if I remember from hole one, it was just a little bit straighter off the tee. And we just need it to go right to the basket. And also I can't throw it too hard because don't want it to go flying past the basket as well. All right, it's still gonna be a long bid, but it's now or never. We gotta make a putt, man. We got to. All righty, it's now or never, boys. Now or never. Ah, uh, right behind it with the little roll, so. <sighs> gonna be running out of holes sh shortly. Need to make those. Need to make those. All right, I'm getting kind of sandwiched in right here, but we got hole five, part three, 222, 222 feet. And we're gonna see if we catch up right here. All right, a pretty good way to right the ship, but let's see if we make a putt. There we go, that's one way to write the ship right there. Okay, I'm not gonna sell you it, but I think we need to birdie out. Six, part three, 190 feet, just dead straight. We'll go to mid range three. Why not go back to the same one that just delivered us our first birdie? We'll put this on like a little flex line too. David Turner. All right, gotta make a big putt right there. Also, ra racing against the daylight, too. Let's go, baby. Big putt right there. It's part three, 330 feet. We'll go with the river. And we're just going to wait till they clear out. I want to go ahead and throw because I know those kids might come back over here. Ooh, boy. Got, make this one. Got a compass going. Hole eight. Don't know how far it is. Part three. Let's go, baby. We just need a putt now. Let's go, baby. We might just be able to do it. We're at hole nine, par three, probably the second longest one out here. And we need a birdie just to finish the line. So it all comes down to this one. Honestly, a great way to fight back. Either way, however this goes, pretty comp pretty good with the result that we do have. And we're just waiting for this family just to get off this one because this park was busy today. But I think what we're going to do is go with our truth on this one and probably just throw it flat to the left side. And if I turn it over, hopefully it flips all the way over. But I just need a good putt, honestly. I don't want to have to struggle for this one to end it. But... I have a feeling that we might have to. So if it comes down to my putting, well, y'all yeah, have watched the rest of my YouTube channels. Y'all know how that goes. Kind of debating whether or not if I should throw my compass right here. But we am going to go with the truth. We're just going to put trust in it that we can clutch it out. Let's 
And that was a good decision because we hit some metal. So not too bad for the Emac Truth. Good thing we picked it up. Because I don't think that compass would have came or the claymore would have came back. So definitely a good drive. Ended up three down. And we're gonna go ahead and jump to the car. So we can go ahead and end this video off. So yeah, go ahead and shoot it over to the car. So yeah. That was episode one of Chasing Down the Fairways. Um, honestly, kind of clutched up there at the end, huh? I mean, it wasn't really the best kind of performance on my end, especially starting out. But, I mean, going towards the back nine, or the back the back part of it, we got five straight birdies. I had some pretty big long breaks and also some kind of frustrating things that I had to kind of deal with. But that penny putter honestly came in real clutch, like, I didn't know how much different it was going to be, especially because I'm used to playing with alpacas. But, I mean, they were working. And somehow I was able to clutch up. That putt on six, honestly, was probably the best. That kind of kick-started everything. Because I know on five, that was kind of an easy putt. I had a whole bunch for three right there at that range. So, that one really didn't really play that much of a uh, part into that run that we had. But I mean, coming from two over all the way back to three down, just clutch, man, clutch. Kind of surprised myself about that one. But yeah, I think honestly, when we stick with the same bag, plus two more other discs from the wheel on the next episode. And I hit metal on hole nine, but I don't think I'm accounting because I did say hit chains or basket. So y'all let me know in the comments down below if we do, I'm just gonna end up playing the next video with the same bag, but if y'all do, Plan, uh, if y'all do say that I did hit it and y'all do want to count that then on the following episode or video we'll get a G star or we'll see if we can find an XT uh, Wraith but it'll probably be a G star Wraith it will probably be the level ups for completing the challenge but I'm just going to say for right now we did not complete the challenge next episode hopefully get this back to y'all next week on Friday I feel like these are going to be going out Friday every single week and I mean, this is a series that hopefully we could stay here for a while. So, I mean, yeah, our next course that we're going to be attacking is actually the back nine of this same course, which it's longer tee pads, so we'll probably be able to use the Wraith and the River a lot more. But, yeah, and I don't really have a disc in my car. But, anyways, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, subscribe, and also comment down what other things you want to see on the, on the wheel and also what challenges, because I will be making a wheel for the challenges. That being said, I'll catch you on the next one.